We're talking about the Premier Pro CC18 exam, and we're looking at the second subdomain called Project Setup and Interface. We're on the subdomain 2.3, use non-visible design tools in the interface to aid in video workflow. Part A of the subdomain says that we should be able to navigate a project. This part of the subdomain is really just you being comfortable navigating through a project. You can use your playhead to scrub through the timeline. You can also do that from things like the program monitor. And if I had the effect controls open, we could do some of that from the settings part. You can zoom in and out on your timeline with this. I like using the up and down arrows, but notice when I hit the down key, it just went to the end of my sequence. But if I check this box right here for being able to toggle video track two, now if I hit the up arrow, it goes to the end of my adjustment layer. And if I hit it again, it now goes to the beginning of the adjustment layer. And so I can just toggle through with the arrow keys. If I want to step one frame to the right, I can use my right arrow key to be more specific in navigating through the timeline. If I need to go 10 frames from here. I could just hit the right arrow key 10 times. Part B of this subdomain says that we should be able to use timeline markers. There are a few ways to add these markers. Let me put my cursor at the beginning of my adjustment layer. And within my program monitor, right here I have the add marker feature. I can also use the keyboard shortcut M to access this. And we can see we added a marker here. If I double click on this marker, I have the option of naming it. I can change my duration. So maybe I wanted 20 frames. I can add comments. I can change my marker color and we have some marker options. And then from here, if we had multiple markers, we can go to other markers within this project. And we can also delete this. We'll go ahead and call this test and we'll click OK. And now we can see that this is now 20 frames. And if I zoom in on my timeline, I can see that there's a name for that marker. If I click here, notice that my playhead went to the exact spot at the end of that marker. And that's a benefit of using markers. And I can see on the certification exam, you being asked to use a marker to get to a specific destination. Part C of the subdomain tells us that we should use guides. I'm not sure if this exam is going to open up eventually to the 2019 features, because when they released that program version, they added a feature to Premiere Pro, much like what you've seen in Photoshop and Illustrator where you can actually drag guides down onto the program monitor to help you as you edit video. And that would fit into this subdomain. The only guides that I can think of for this is right here in the program monitor, the safe margins button. If I click that, I get some safe areas that I can use. For 2018, there are no guides. If you know what they're referring to, go ahead and leave a comment below and maybe you can enlighten everybody else. But for this, this is the only thing that I can think of. I started to think more about this and I wondered if they were referring to some of the alignment guides. I have a text layer in my timeline and we're going to go ahead and go to the graphics workspace. With my title selected, if I click on the text, I have some alignment and transform options. For example, if I want it in the vertical center, if I just click that, notice it brings it to the exact center. And same thing with my horizontal center. And notice it just brought that into the immediate center. I have some other options like align top, of course, align bottom. We have aligned vertically. You should be mindful of the align and transform for this exam. This might be what they're referring to.